Well, how's it going YouTube? Welcome along. I hope everyone's doing very well. Uh, this is my February camp out, uh, following on from my January camp out. I'm camping at least once a month all year for 2021 and recording uh, the, uh, the experience to share on YouTube. So thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got my new, a new bivvy behind me here that I've bought. It's a, uh, it's called a Storm Chaser. Uh, light, it's made by Lightwave, the bivvy. Uh, it's quite expensive bit of kit, but hopefully the last uh, last sort of piece in the puzzle, piece in the jigsaw for me in terms of the kit that I need. Uh, so I'm going to give it a good test tonight. You'll be the first to see it. There will be future videos coming up with more details on this bivvy, but uh, but yeah, you'll have to wait for those. So this is a sort of a sneak sneak peek of this bivvy here. So I will I will bring you back in a bit as the evening progresses. Obviously, just to say, I'm in my garden tonight. We're still in COVID lockdown. Uh, so I can't get out, but this is going to have to do for this month. Hopefully, I'll have a, I'll definitely have another spot. I've got a field I can camp in that's fairly near my house, which is quite beautiful actually in the spring. Um, so I'll probably camp there next month, and then we'll be back to proper wild camping. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look inside this bivvy as it's as it's still light. Not easy to do with one hand to unzip, but just give me bear with me a second there we go so uh, this is actually a sort of side entrance bivvy it's not a huge area um, entrance area but that's that's okay because it keeps all my kit dry so as you can see it's nice and snug in there there's plenty of room for me possibly a bit dark for you but yeah there's plenty of headroom and uh, it's really nice because this little detail at the back picks offers a bit of uh, more headroom as it picks up this back wall rather than it being just sort of sloping away to nothing so yeah there's the uh, the first look inside the, uh, the swamp storm chaser okay so I'm just gonna bring you back I'm just about to go to bed it's been a quite a quiet evening I've just been chilling out I don't know home here just watching a bit of TV so yeah and that's the benefit in these colder darker winter months of being near a home you can come out later and not have to, to spend the whole evening under ca under canvas, as you will. Uh, the uh, the bivvy is. I don't know how well you'd be able to see, but the from here the bivvy is actually frozen. So uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty cold tonight. So it should be a good night, good test of the bivvy, and uh, I'm sure I'll bring you back periodically to show you inside the bivvy uh, with any issues of condensation, and we will go from there plan tomorrow is uh, I'm gonna I'm actually having my COVID jab tomorrow morning and then uh, I'm gonna come back and cook up a bit of a brunch of, um, of scallops and bacon in a nice fresh roll so that is the plan something to look forward to in the morning so let's get in and I shall bring you back bingo there we go after about 10 minutes of trying to get my camera to work I've got the night vision on so hopefully you can see me in here now I am inside the bivvy I have the side door open I'm looking out and I can see Orion which is quite lovely I can see all the stars uh, it's really beautiful um, so yeah so nice to be out it's uh, it's quite cosy in here, but I feel as if I've got plenty of space. I will be very interested to see what happens with condensation in here. This bivvy cost me £325, so it's the most expensive bit of kit I've ever bought. And it would be very interesting to see how it performs. It is a very high quality bit of kit. And you can tell that by the, uh, the way it's all been finished. And I'm uh, yeah loving the idea of getting some seriously good use out of this bit of kit. So I think I'm going to listen to a podcast or something now. I have actually got Wi-Fi as I'm in the garden. I've got the Wi-Fi from the house. So I'll probably listen to a podcast which I really enjoy, which is the World Football Phone-In, which if you haven't seen or heard, I would highly recommend. It's, it's very enlightening and it's also amusing as well. It's got some great characters on that show. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd recommend checking them out if you're interested in football. Listen to that for half an hour or so and then I'll get off to sleep.
I'm quite looking forward to getting my COVID jab tomorrow. Uh, that will make things a lot less worry worrying for me because I've worked through a lot of COVID. Um, and I live with my parents, so I've been a bit concerned about passing on anything to my, especially my dad, who's got some, some has had some health issues. So it'll be nice to get that extra le level of protection for my family and a little bit of uh, peace of mind for me. So that's going to be great to get that done. Hoping for COVID to lift as soon as possible as I guess we all are. Uh, I've got some big plans for 2021. So yeah, it, the wait has, if anything, it's been it's been okay as it's it's made me look forward more and plan more of the things I really want to do in the future. So it's had its, its positives. Uh, but yeah, it'll be great when it lifts and I can get out there doing a bit of car camping hopefully up into scotland later on in the year that is the plan hopefully putting the uh, the pieces in place for that so we will see but yeah tonight is all about just enjoying this little this little baby enjoying being outside getting some fresh air i haven't decided yet where i'm whether i'm going to leave this door here open or not uh, as you can see looking out i haven't uh, i haven't quite decided that yet but I'll, I'll see I'll see what happens I'm interested to see if I wake up feeling claustrophobic in the night but this is what this is all about um, it's uh, it's interesting getting in and out of this bivy it's quite tight but uh, I think as I said earlier on uh, the door is to one side so all, if it's raining all the rest of my kit is is kept dry if I do open the door so but all that is going to follow in a future video where I go into a load more detail on this bivvy, talk about where I got it from, and uh, as I said, some of the uh, the interesting details of the company who I bought it from. Okay, so I've been in the bivvy for about three quarters of an hour now, and I've decided to go to sleep. I feel nice and relaxed. Yeah, very much ready for sleep. I've actually zipped up the bivvy i left it open for a while so i could see out uh, but i've zipped it up probably for the last half an hour and it's interesting to see how we're looking for condensation inside this little bag um, as you can see on the uh, on the material itself there is some condensation um, but certainly no droplets on the joins here where it's seam sealed you can see there's a lot more condensation but that's only around these these joins so not a major issue so that's how we're looking after basically 40 minutes in here so uh, yeah so good so far so good interesting to see how I feel claustrophobia wise in here because there's only the one side door but I'm sure I'll have a great night I'm sure it will uh, it'll, it'll be fun whatever happens that's for sure I always enjoy my evenings out even if they're just in the garden so I'm sure I'll have a great night it's funny being in here gives me the feeling of when I used to go camping as a kid it's that same feeling I don't know if I've had that I've been wild camping for about 10 years um, and I don't know if I've really had that feeling in tarps and tents but being in here just gives me that same cosy feeling and it's uh, it's nice it's really nice I have to say I wish that there was a an easier way for me to just quickly unzip this door if I woke up I wish I could just from the top pull this door open and I, I guess as well I'm just thinking just thinking as I as I talk here if I could zip this this door up here from the top uh, it would be a good way to vent the bivvy as well because I find that the place where the condensation is building up the most in here is basically at the very the apex um, so if I could either zip a two-way zip um, that I could unzip from the top to let in a bit more air or I guess a vent as well right in the apex above me here that would be uh, that would probably be a good feature for this movie but uh, this is only the first outing so 
yeah we'll see see uh, see what I think in the morning um, as I say I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys any issues I will bring you back other than that see you in the morning cheers well welcome back to this gorgeous morning I've now had my COVID jab and I've got my scallop and bacon sandwich it's actually the first time I've ever tried scallops uh, it's okay just for a single scallop but I find it a bit overpowering in the bacon sandwich so interesting to try I suppose you want to know how I got on last night uh, <coughs> excuse me um, being honest I had lots of problems with condensation uh, it was very cold there was frost as you saw on the bivy uh, so I think that might well have affected the uh, the performance of the material but as I say there was lots of condensation so I think that a lot more testing is in order I'm not going to send back the bivy I'm going to keep it and I'm going to keep trying persevering with it because what I've read about this is a decent material it's quite highly rated uh, so I think it's worth worth sort of sticking with for the time being anyway if it doesn't because it doesn't perform in the long run I'll guess I'll be selling on eBay but you'll still be seeing lots of videos with this bivy for the time being let's put it this way So that's it for this video really it's just been a, a fairly simple little video just ticking over really the uh, the months uh, as I'm not able to wild camp at the moment as I said earlier on the video it won't be long and uh, we'll be back out in the in the woods again so there'll be plenty to look forward uh, look forward to throughout the year um, so yeah I just say thanks very much for watching any questions about the bivy or about my channel just pop them in the uh, the comments below if you haven't seen me before and you'd like to subscribe to my channel that would be very much appreciated i post videos like this covering camping a bit of bushcraft so that's what i do and i hope you enjoy it and thanks very much for joining me take care see ya bye